the fishermen out there. Maybe they've been up the whole night, working, trying to make a living. Every morning when we wake up, we must not forget that there were people who did not sleep last night. If they have to work, make a living. Think of people who could not sleep last night. No, if they have no food in their stomach. The night is very long. If you have no food and you're hungry. Think of people who were in pain last night. Every heartbeat is a pulsating pain all over the body. So what I'm trying to say is this. Just be grateful. Don't focus on your petty problems. Yes, we have problems, but to realize that there are people who have bigger problems. And we all have the reason to say, keep saying thank you. Gratitude is the best attitude. A grateful person will always be happy because you choose to be happy. The next time you feel like complaining, uh, feeling bad about what's happening in your life. Well, you look up. The presence of God is something that will make us realize how small we are. How small we are. God is great, big, wonderful. And next time you tend to magnify your whatever problems or worries you have, concerns, agenda. Be mindful. There are people, a lot of people, who have to go through bigger, more difficult situations. Again, today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Take the road of gratitude, humility, and joy, and generosity. So, focus less on complaining, focus less on comparing yourself with others, and focus less on blaming things or people or situations that you're not happy, that things are not well. Focus on the Lord, not on the Lord. And there are so many things that we can really appreciate if only we try. You really try count your blessings, my buddies. Today we just say thank you to God for the many people who work the whole night for us to be fed, to be comfortable. The fisherman, the farmer who works, the delivery people and all that. So if you keep focusing on this gratitude moment, that the day is beautiful. Okay? God bless you. Mama Mary loves you. Amen.